Mm-mm. Here, baby. No. Sit down. Office over there. Um, in the office is good. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Grab you a chair. It's time to party. Okay, I'll grab my little one. We're not here just to take part. We're here to take over. Get ready. Yeah, Woo! Yeah. We are tour, and we're doing it better than anybody else alive. Where's him? What you doing tonight, girl? Probably watching Grand oh, Slam, and she like Big Joe. <laughs> Holy shit! There you go. Holy shit! Wow, yo, Clint. What? I'm gonna need a magnet. One eighty. Holy fuck, dude. This is a little fun case of Tiger. Boom! Hey! Let's go, baby! Come on, y'all, we fucking bring the fucking heat, son. Woo! Oh, shit! There it is! Oh, my God! You fucking fuck! Get some, motherfucker! Let's go! Hey, everybody give me a good one, all right? Let's go! I might do the dog call and you give it back, all right, girl? Let's go! Let's show the motherfucking world why we're We're the We're the motherfucking top breakers of breakers. The breakers know it. Our customers know it. Goddamn top know it. They all know it, damn it. Let's go, baby! Let's go, baby! I got my We're fucking pizzas! Let's go, baby! Let's go! Let's go, baby! Yes! 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 We ran shit in 2020. We right here. Yo, Gary, what motherfucking time is it? It's show time! Hee haw, hee haw. Hee haw, hee haw. <laughs> Let's go, baby. We got them all in the house tonight. Let's go. Woo! We want to thank Tops for inviting us to the party. We're kind of the uncouth cousin of the group. <laughs> right, Big Gary? Right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. If you're from the 38344, nothing but love. Let's go. We got um, f- we got 30 customers that rode with us. We did this a little different this year. Last year, me and Joe opened like a million boxes. And this year, Tops offered us, we could open five cases And I did that route because I figured they would give us something for each customer if I did that. Uh, We could have sold 100 boxes or 200 boxes or whatever, but I just decided, hey, let's do that. So sure enough, I get the call today from Tops directly that if you only open 30 boxes, every single one of our customers are going to get a pack of cards with five cards in it. And every card is numbered to 10 or less. And it'll have the Tops Rip Party stamp on it. Yeah. These things are going to be legit. And so I'm, I'm so thrilled I did that. So every person who bought a jumbo from us, who trusted us for $274.95, you'll get the free pack. And then what I'm going to do is throughout the show, we're, I, the 83 and 84 Tops are, they're not quite as high as Sherry in my heart. But after Sherry, there's 83 and 84 tops, right, Sherry? Yep. And um, so what we're going to do is we're going to open a pack for each customer. And if that person, whether, like, let's say Christopher Minton is our first order. If I open an 84 tops pack and it has a Daryl Strawberry or Don Mattingly, we're going to give him a $1,000. He can decide which charity it goes to. We're going to give him a list of five charities. We're going to do the Salvation Army, right, Gary? Right. Um, we're going to do 
Uh, strippers. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. We're going to do the Salvation Army. We're going to do the Pat Tillman Foundation. We're going to do St. Jude Hospital. We're going to do Wounded Warrior. Right, Gary? No, and the last one was Red Cross. Right, Gary? Right. So we got Red Cross. Y'all remember this because I ain't going to remember this tomorrow. All right, write it down. But you get, if your if you're box, if we open up a pack for you, and in 84, if you get Mattingly or Strawberry, I'll buy it for a $1,000 um, donation to one of those five charities you pick. And uh, the pack alone, I think that pack is going to be worth several hundred bucks, guys. I, I did it that way. I just had a feeling. Tops, I love them. I knew they were going to come through for us. My man Kevin O'Neill's legit. I want to thank Southern Hobby before I forget. Southern Hobby, from the very first day I opened, there was only one distributor that contacted me, and it was Southern Hobby. Everybody else, I was a little little boob on the uh, on the. I wasn't even a blip on the radar, right, Big Gary? That's right. My man Brad, Luke, Brian, and CJ. From the very beginning, they would they would try to get me a box here, a box there. If there's any uh, breakers that are out there that are starting to uh, get into it. My advice is to hit up Brian Pugh at Southern Hobby. I can't tell you what they did for me personally. Um, they're always, they always, from day one, have had our back, and they've been able to provide us product where you guys can get a good deal. And I think they deserve the respect of me saying that on a show like this where there's 500 people watching, that if you're out there and you're trying to start your business, you really do need to check with Southern Hobby because they're legit. Um, they literally changed my life, so I think it's it's just being fair. Um, I can't tell you how much um, help they gave us when we first started when I was a little peon. It was hilarious. You know, they, they took me seriously when nobody else would, and I appreciate that. So, Brian Pugh, you hit him up if you want to... If you want to run like we run, Brian Pugh, CJ, is your spot. And then Southern Hobby. I'm just being honest. Um, so what we'll do is we'll open up each box. Sherry has been excited all day. She's been working at her job. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep. She keeps texting me, when's the show start? And I'm like, Sherry, when you start liking Tops so much? Sherry's a big Steelers fan. She loves the Ben Roethlisberger Tops Rookie First Edition. She says that's a good investment. Right, Big Rook? Damn straight. So grab your Ben Roethlisberger First Edition Rookie Cards. <laughs> Another thing I want to go over is a podcast. All y'all dudes are bored at work. You're dying inside and you're trying to find podcasts to enjoy. My man, Mike Geo has sports card nonsense. You can find it on any platform where you're looking for podcasts. Right, Big Gary? That's right. And uh, Mike Geo is my dude. Me and him have been running. Uh, we've done deals for the last 10, 12 years. I feel like that. I feel like Mike Geo is about to blow up. To be straight up 100%, I feel like his podcast is about to blow up. You can ask Rookie. I would tell him. He would come into my store, and I'm like, man, you're about to blow up. Day one. And I'm serious. I, and then, sure enough, there he goes. So check out Sports Card Nonsense. He's not paying me, of course. I mean, I'm just telling you the truth. I think it would be something good for you guys that are fairly new to this to check out. All right? $1,000 to your favorite charity of those five choices. You're getting your uh, million card rip party pack for free. And we're just going to have some fun. Right, Sherry? Yep. All right. This is from a man... John Lamb. Look at our knife. Hey, Gary? Yeah. Why is there... Hey, will you go ahead and turn the phones off, yeah. Rook? Um, I want y'all to know that when we first started... This is going to be a long 30 boxes because I am already... Seeing three of you, Sherry. Uh, my man Gary. We we set up true story. This is true story. My man Omar was coming to town. He was retiring. In that right, big Gary. Right, right. And uh, 
we have Murphy's Orthopedics next to us. Isn't that right, Gary? That's right. That's right. And all the, I was like, oh, my, my dad's about to score left and right. Him and Gary was fucking just like a pinata, right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Omar, respect. Let's go. My man, Jimbo. This is Christopher Minton. We're going to see if he, if he hits a Mattingly or Strawberry, it's a $1,000. He gets the free pack. These guys, hey, just so y'all know, the packs will come in in two or three days. We're going to ship it all together. So we're going to bust everything tonight. We will sit it over here in the corner. And then when your packs come in, we're going to ship everything together. Right, Big Joe? I mean, right, Big Gary? Yeah, right. <laughs> Miss you, Joe. Yeah. Mattingly or Strawberries, 1000 Joe's doing pretty good, man. Hit him up. Willie McGee and old Ted Simmons. Sorry, buddy. No thousand for you. Why are you being so shy after you've been asking about the show all day? I'm just waiting for you to open the box. Oh, okay. One down, 29 to go. Right, Gary? That's right. Woo! You get your also your Major League All-Star box loader. You get multiple hobby exclusive packs. <clears throat> Damn, save some for the rest of us. Right, Big Gary? That's right. Hell yeah! When am I going to be on the Geo Show? I've already been on the Geo Show. We'll ride again. This right here is Christopher Minton, 89,091. Here we go. Right, Big Gary? Right. Yeah. I love the white borders, don't you, Sherry? Yep. Mm -hmm. White borders are my favorite. White borders are your favorite. Be honest, all day long you were waiting for this show, weren't you? Yep. Yeah. Byron Buxton. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Jose Garcia with an actual signature. Respect. 86 tops. Oh, Cody Bellinger. Y'all are going to have to check your short prints, okay? We are shipping all base. Right, Big Gary? Shipping it all, right? Yeah, we don't give a shit, do we, Gary? No, we don't. We love base. Hogs and cats to the wire. My son is all tore up. I tried to tell him Calipari's gone, but he won't listen, Willie Big Rook. You My, really think so? Yeah, I think he's gone after this year, just so y'all know. You got a coach in mind? I just think, yeah. Coach Burns win like we do in basketball, baseball cards, right, Big Gary? Right. It's going to be a long. Paul Goldschmidt. Look at Roger. I love this shit. Jose Altuve. Let's go. Little fella. Got some uh, got some electronics underneath that shirt, doesn't he, Big Gary? Yeah, he does. <laughs> Remember with us, you're going to get your free pack. Every customer got their pack, right, Big Gary? That's right. Let me ask you this, Big Gary. Yeah. Is it true that when you go to the card shows in Indianapolis and Louisville now, girls will come up and ask you for autographs? Yeah, they will. All because of the nation, right, Big That's Gary? Right. That's right. Cats up one, four seconds. Hold on, man. Y'all killing me, man. Why y'all doing this to me? My son is going to lose it if they lose again. No, we were not front row. My son got his. <laughs> My son's been making good grades ever since, hasn't he, Sherry? Mm -hmm. Y'all were baseline. Yeah. My son got to sit front row. Oh, Hank Aaron. Base. <laughs> yeah, we're shipping everything, Jordan. No, Gary's not from Indianapolis. Gary just, you know, handles his business in Indianapolis. Right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Let's go! What? Indianapolis is from Hey, pull up ESPN.com, rookie. Okay. I don't want. Some, I want my son to finally get some happiness. My son has been tortured by John Calipari. Oh, I hope John Calipari jumps in the nearest fire. Right, Gary? Right. <laughs> One to go, four seconds left. Rusty Bird's an Arkansas fan, too. Y'all got to stop. My poor son is going to lose it. <laughs> I'm about to throw this phone up against the wall. I knew you, Rusty, going to suck me into this stupid shit. Hold on. This is our show. We can do what we want. Right, Gary? That's right. 
ESPN.com. Four seconds left. It's tied. Dude made a free throw. Looks like he might have one free throw left. Oh, no, man. Watch this Kentucky shit. Timeout, 80 to 80. Maybe Kentucky fucking. John Calipari can go fuck off. My son is all torn. He said, I'm not coming over tonight, Dad, to watch your game. And I was thinking, I was thinking, man, Brady, I guess you didn't know about the Topps Million Car Rip Party. That's co- okay, man, I understand. <laughs> so Kentucky's going to lose by one. Unless it was like an and one. And he had John one. Calipari sucks, man. Can't coach himself out of a wet paper bag. We're going to watch it. Hey, this is our show. We can do it. We're down one. Man, Kentucky, you suck. Arkansas won. God, poor Brady. I'm, y'all watch my phone, but I'm going to turn the volume up. Watch. <laughs> Fucking Kentucky. God. Poor, poor Calipari. That motherfucker going to get ran out of town, son. Kentucky, man. <laughs> I knew Rusty Bird. I knew when I saw Rusty Bird, I said, that no good, no mo. Hey, man, Rusty, take your ass back across 8 Mile, man. Seriously, dude. I think that's messed up. My son is going to be texting me, Kentucky! Ah! Right, Big Gary? That's right. For Kentucky. Here we go. Jack Flaherty. Oh, Aaron Judge, 86 tops. Woo! No. We're still on box one, right, Gary? Right. Man, going to be a long night, isn't it, Sherry? Yep. It's okay. Uh-oh, Brooks Robinson to 299. I like these cards. Oh, Reggie. At this pace, I'm going to be here till 3 in the morning. I better, I better pick up the pace, right, Sherry? You do. Appreciate you saying that. Oh, Eloy Jimenez. I don't know if the orange and white checkerboard is still hanging over up arena. Are we still beating that ass 34 to 7? Uh, touchdown! <laughs> Boss man! Any Tennessee fan talking shit needs to shut the fuck up, right, Gary? That's right. Let's go! That's the, look, 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 I told y'all my son would comment. I better not show it. He said, he said, did Sar have a stroke mid play? <laughs> my son is tortured by them motherfuckers. Watch this, I must tell my son, 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 how many times I gotta tell you? How many times? How many times do I need to tell you? They suck, man. <laughs> they suck, man. Sar, Sar, hold on, is a big old bitch. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. Poor kid. And do your homework. Do your homework. <laughs> right, Gary? Right. Do your homework. <laughs> Let's go, Reggie. We got to get serious. We got a lot of boxes to open tonight, don't we, Sherry? Mm-hmm. Gary, I hope you're ready to divide all these up. Okay. Don't get caught. Uh oh. Oh, gold. Is that Soto? Holy shit. Oh, snot and boogers. There's a Soto gold. MLB. I don't know if that's good or not. Oh, Steven Strasburg. Acuna. Woo! There you go, Gary. Here's you some shit to work on, bud. Good luck, man. You got some shit to sleeve, dog. Remember, what we'll do, uh, Rook, is we'll keep everybody's cards until these packs come in, all right? Here we go. Keep up with your SPs, right, Gary? Eloy. SPs were just gonna stay no, there Garcia. in the pack. Yep. <clears throat> Go Schmidt. I love these cards too, Kevin Bang. Big ups to Kevin Bang. Got his new job today. What? Yep. Kevin got him a new job, son. He went out and got it. He wanted to change his life. 
Uh, hell, who knows? Some place where nut draggers fucking work, right, Big Gary? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, he don't. He ain't like them other guys at the card show. A bunch of pussy assholes, right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> Tops is like a board. A board. Here we go, Joey Bart. Kevin Bain don't mess around. That's a sh SSP. That's a beautiful card. Eloy, Yelich. All right, our first box is in the book. One down, 29 to go, boys. Let's go. This is Minton. There you go. Next up, Andrew R. Here you go. Here's his packs and stuff to go with it. Andrew R. Is it yo time to shine? Andrew R., if we get a Boggs or Sandberg or Gwen, you get $1,000 to pick where you want it to go. And no, it can't go to your aunt's bedazzle uh, business. Right, Sherry? Right. Reggie! He's on the front of the box. Oh, damn. Steve Brown. The search goes on! Unless you're looking for Dick Davis. Them 83 tops Pittsburgh. Look at those 83 Pittsburgh hats. Right, Big Gary? That's right. You want to open one, Sherry? Yeah, you go ahead, babe. Okay. I'm going to have you open up an 84 tops pack next, okay? I got a feeling you're about to hit Don Mattingly. This is Andrew R. Can I get a handgun tap? No. <laughs> but, uh... Here we go. Remember, all card ships. Sonny, he can wipe his own ass, right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> oh, Sonny Gray. Oh, Trevor Bauer. Oh, shit. Look at that. One Soto to two ninety nine. Oh, Derry Jeter. Number to seventy. Oh, Voigt. Luke Voigt. That's pretty cool. Chris Bryant. Alonzo. We don't break hobby boxes, bud. These are jumbos for the show. Hobby boxes get shipped unopened. I'll be here until three weeks past my death, right, Big Gary? Right. That's a cool card. Hank Aaron. Here we go. This is Andrew R. 89,097. We're about to cross over order 90,000, aren't we, Sherry? Is it true that one of your co-workers has a crush on Gary? Yep. Yeah. He doesn't want to know which one, though. Nope, he doesn't. Yeah, she kind of, she smells kind of like Long John Silver's Hush Puppies, doesn't she? But she got some love for Gary. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep. Adele. Gary said he loves them little crunchies from Long John Silver's, don't you, Gary? He said if it smells like them crunchies, isn't that right, Big Rook? My dad used to ask for them. Hell yeah. Real men ask for that shit. Right, Gary? You ain't lying. You're just lying. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob DeGrom. Oh, Jackie. Let me ask you this, Gary. Yeah. Is it true that you were an extra on uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High? I was, yeah. Yeah. I love that movie, too. Vladimir, run, Ricky, run. They closed Long John's there, not in Antioch. Sherry drove down and got me some Long John Silvers in Antioch, didn't you, Sherry? Wow. That's winning right there, isn't it, Gary? Yeah, it is. Yeah. My exact words. Yep. If you got a girl that'll drive 30 minutes to get you your Long John Hush puppies and crunches, you winning. Oh, if you don't think Fast Time at Ridgemont High is a cinematic masterpiece, you ain't mean you are 
I'm telling you, I don't want to hang out with you at no bar. I don't want to hang out at a barbecue. If you're a brother-in-law, I probably don't like you, right, Big Gary? That's right. Yeah. If you ain't down with, if you ain't down with Spicoli, you probably an asshole. Yeah, Mr. Hands the shit. Once you get the pool and the red in here. Ooh, $4.99. Jacob DeGrom, was there any doubt? My man Jeremy Steins. 38344, baby. Let's go. Mustangs. Oh, Spicoli. Uh, Sean Penn got robbed for an Oscar on that one. I mean, to this day, I still boycott it, right, Gary? Well, that's right. Rain Man. Yeah, I mean. Honestly, I think Sean Penn did a better job than Justin Hoffman. The only thing about Rain Man I liked was that song, Ike Wike O I A, right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> yeah. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. If you didn't like that movie, I'm telling you I don't like you. Let me go find another breaker to break with, right, Big Gary? Right. Yep. Oh, Joey Gallo. Yelich. Andrew? You are going to get yourself a pack of cards. It's probably worth about a hundred bucks. Enjoy, buddy. Right, Big Gary? Right. Austin's first wrestling match victory was against a guy that looked like Luigi from Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> we were there wearing our N95 masks. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep. Me, I'm going to tell y'all a good story about Austin. I probably need to. Poor Brady. He's still. He, Brady's still sending me tweets and shit. Brady, I must have tell my son, son, let it go, bro. Let it go. Cal sucks. <laughs> Look, literally, I put, let it go. Cal sucks. It's true, man. Cal sucks. Can't coach himself out of a wet paper bag, man. Right, Sherry? Right. You going to open this one for me? Come on over here. Okay. Oop, here we go. We're going to have guest, guest appearance from Sherry. You ready? You want to do 84 or 83? 83. 83. Here you go. $1,000. Joseph Martin, if you get Tony Gwynn, you go ahead and open it up. This is your first pack you've opened in a while since in Prism mm -hmm. when you tried to steal my Zion. Uh -huh. Me and Sherry opened one box of Prism. You want me to go through them? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Hell yeah. All right, Sherry. $1,000, Joseph Martin, to the charity of your choice of the five we've offered. Kirk Gibson. Jay, no thanks. The wrong Sunberg. <laughs> Is Sherry your lucky charm? Ugh. Nope. nope, bunch of shit. Hey, it's all right, right, Gary? That's right. All right, you're up, Joseph. Costa Mesa, California. Are you in North California or South California? We're going to chop that state in two, right, Big Gary? Oh, what are you talking about? Of all time, rad? No. The greatest of all time in the 80s is Karate Kid. If you couldn't get no nookie after the Karate Kid... He's probably rocking the micro P, right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> Woo! Let's go! So glad Allie came back for season three, aren't you, Sherry? Uh-huh. Yeah, she was so glad Elizabeth Shue came back. She literally, when me and her were watching it, literally Sherry got up and started clapping because Elizabeth <laughs> Shue rolled up. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep. Yeah. Adventures in babysitting. Isn't that right, Big Gary? Mm hmm Oh, yeah, you get your black packs, they ship unopened. You're, dude, this was a hookup on this stuff. They get shipped. Everything gets shipped to you guys. This isn't where we're in Dallas at AT&T Stadium. Right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> sure, sir. We're just having some fun. Sherry, is it true that you spotted me at the Dollar Tree? I was over at the honey bun aisle, right? Yep. Y'all don't even know how me and Sherry met, do they, Big Gary? No. Ooh, silk card. That's Aaron Judge. I knew it. I can call a card from a blank ass back. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Bueller. Yep, I was over there 
in the uh, Oreo cookie aisle, honey bun aisle, right? That's right. Mm. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yep. And you spotted me, right? Yep. And then you asked me. I stalked you from aisle to aisle. Yeah, and then you asked me if I wanted to buy some Girl Scout cookies, right? Mm -hmm. And you didn't even have a daughter selling Girl Scout cookies, right? Right. And I, I ordered the Samoas, <laughs> the peanut butter cookies, right? Yep. Yep, the rest is history, nation. I had to figure out a way to get them. Yep. She went on the black market and found some uh, cookies on eBay, right, Gary? That's right. Yeah. I never do until after. Here we go. Your mic shot should be hand-delivered. When this guy's too much, isn't he, Austin? Yeah. Yeah, sleeve will do it. <laughs> Nick Madrigal Gold. That's a good card. Oh, Johnny. I love the 86s. Willie. Is it true that you and Willie Mays got into a fight one time, Gary? Yeah, yeah we did. A girl named Priscilla, right? Priscilla right. Presley, isn't that right? Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. She chose you, though, right, Gary? Yes, she did. Nothing but a hound dog. <laughs> Ooh, George Springer autograph. Nice sig. Oh, Rizzo, Bellinger. The 89 tops reminds me of Greg Jeffries. Right, Big Gary? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Chris Bryant. That's it. Eddie. Pete Alonzo met Big Joe last year. Big Joe! My son said, Kentucky sucks. <laughs> Poor kid. It could always be worse. You could be a Tennessee football fan. Right, Big Gary? That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so great, all right. Hey, hey, Austin, can you check and see if Rookie's back from his time capsule mission? He's back in 1998. I still remember 98 like it was yesterday. I bet you do. But it wasn't yesterday. It was 22 years ago. 23 years ago. Y'all have sucked ever since. <laughs> right, Big Gary? Right, opinions. Woo! Yeah. T. Martin's like 50 years old. He's got grandkids and shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, T. Mark's got gray hairs and shit. You got, you got him in. He got fired, didn't he? is he out of there? Where's he coaching now? The fucking uh, Pee Wee League? No kidding. Oh, well, I guess the old Ravens wide receivers won't be catching no touchdowns next year from old Lamar. Altuve. <laughs> Yeah, man. How the tables have turned. What are you talking about, man? Tennessee's terrible in football. They're like five and five in the SEC. Five hundred. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's how you look at things. Yeah, it is. It's how you look at things. Tennessee fan. The last time Tennessee won an SEC championship in basketball, the tournament, I literally was not born. I was just a sperm in Omar's sack. <laughs> But you gotta admit that shit's true. It is very true. I was in Omar's sack, ready to pounce. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. And in fairness, Kentucky football—they've been sucking from the '80s and '90s. Kentucky football—it was '78, Ed. I don't think so, Ed. I don't think so. '78, Kentucky won the SEC national championship. Y'all may have won the SEC tournament. I ain't talking about no regular season bullshit, Ed. Who won the SEC tournament in 1978? I would have been one. I was in my I was in my crib, pimping hoes and busting packs. Right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> I hope y'all did win it in '78. I was one. Yeah, we did. 1978. I was one year old. What was the date? Was I even one? March 3rd, 1979. Beat Kentucky 75 to 69 in overtime. So 1979. All right, rookie. Now go and look and see how many times Kentucky's won the SEC championship from 1980 until today. Yeah, he gonna shut the. He gonna be count. He gonna be like, uh, oh, four, twelve. We might need an associate's degree for this. Austin, go back there. <laughs> go back there. 
can't count them motherfuckers up, son. He said Kentucky won it. What in '79 did y'all win, rookie? Like the '78, '79 season. Now '70. Okay, so what? What was the date? Uh, March 3rd, 79. Okay, so I was definitely, I was one and a half. Man, I was probably out of diaper. Hell, I might have been selling cards by then. <laughs> Y'all got 52 regular season championships and 29 SEC championships. I just want to know since 1980, how many, rookie? Just just humor me. I'm going to say about 20. <laughs> I'm going to say about half the fucking time. In the last 40 years, UK's won about half. And just so y'all know, there's 14 teams in the SEC. In 1993, two teams joined. Before then, there was, is it 12? I can't remember. No, I think it was 10. 10 to 93. He's still counting. He's like, uh, add the zero, drop the <laughs> one. I mean, we got rookie. <laughs> three to three. Yeah, this is, this is Joseph M., He's still counting. <laughs> He's like, uh. 82 is listed as. Hold on. It's cool, man. Michael Kelly. Got it. Sherry, should we do 84 or 82? Four? We did 83 last time, right? Mattingly or Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Since 1980, we've won half of them. Four, five, eight. Music to my ears, rookie. Turn up the volume. <laughs> I have one vacated in 88. Uh, Y'all want to talk about vacated shit with Tennessee football, or you want to just keep rolling? <laughs> That's kind of what I thought, you McDonald's bag-having mofo. <laughs> Eight, nine, Woo! <laughs> That's pretty good. Ripken! Lasorda. He doesn't stop counting. Ed, Ed said, please, rookie, stop counting. <laughs> 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 when you get a Tennessee fan counting all your titles, you know you winning, right, Austin? <laughs> it's like Austin asking motherfucking New York Jet fans to count how many AFC North championships. <laughs> oh, God. I can't count that high. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jets fans. Woo! Let's go! They're all Googling that shit. they like, damn, Nate's on fire. Let me ask you this, rookie. For real, that was a good win against us the other night. Let me ask you this for real, though. What bowl game did y'all go to? <laughs> you passed up on the uh, Memphis Bowl. They passed up on that Liberty Bowl. <laughs> Three and seven. Here's my favorite team from here on out. Kentucky's horrible. I swear to y'all, I think I could coach them to more victories than that fucking greaseball calamari good. My favorite team from here on out, Austin, who is my favorite team? Guess it. Somebody that's dragging, bro. No, anybody who's playing 10 and motherfucking C, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, let's go. That old Fulkerson, he whooped that ass last year. <laughs> The thing about Rookie is I'll give him credit. He takes it when Kentucky wins. He comes in when they beat us and gives me a hard time for a minute. I like I, I like Rookie because he keeps it 100. He ain't no pussy. Right, right, Rook? Damn straight. He loves him some Tennessee Vols. I ain't going to lie. I respect that. Okay. Whatever team you like, man, if you run and hide when you a little bitch, you an asshole to us. Right, Austin? Exactly. Got you got to... You got to ride or die with your squad. This is Michael Kelly. What is this? Mateo Auto to 50. Tops probably has us on mute. <laughs> it's cute. They'll probably be like, we're never inviting that guy back. It's cute. It's been a good run. Oh, yeah. We got Wandale Robinson back. Them corn huskers, man. Scott Frost. That poor guy. You would think his name was Jeremy Pruitt. Here we go. Boss man. Friend of mine plays for Tennessee. What's his name? Joey Gallo. Gold. 
Acuna! That's pretty cool. What is this? Austin Hayes to two ninety nine. So you saw me over the little Debbie aisle and you knew it was love at first sight. Yep. Yeah. I used to go over there all the time, didn't I, Gary? Yeah. Christy been calling here trying to sell us cookies. Sure not be. Am I lying? No, I got two calls last week. <laughs> <coughs> yep, girls trying Good to. Good job screening the calls, Austin. Yeah, he did. I never talked to anybody, but <laughs> oh, Derek Jeter. Ooh, Scott Frost is the guy. Ooh. Scott Frost doing everything he can to tear down, tear down Husker football, right, Big Gary? Right. A Manny Machado. There's a gold. Kyle Lewis. Look at that Mike Trout. That's cool. And there's a short print, I bet. Jay Bruce. We just started, man. We're just chilling. We're going to be here a while. Buckle up. Right, Big Gary? That's right. We are. Gary, do you remember the first pack of Topps cards you opened? Uh, yes. What year was it? 1965. Yeah, with the flags. That's right. Do you remember the first good card you got, Gary? Well, we didn't really care. You know? Back then? Yeah, we didn't care. We wanted reds. That's all we wanted. Just the Cincinnati Reds. We didn't, we didn't care about the Mattingly's and the Aaron's and the Mays. It was all about them Reds, huh? Reds, right. You was looking for that Tony Perez rookie. Is it true that the pharmacist at the drugstore that you uh, bought him at took advantage of you, Gary? Uh, yeah. It, it was a blessing in disguise, though, wasn't it, Gary? It was, yes. <laughs> Gary always likes to turn a positive or a negative into a positive, right, Gary? That's right. Oh, Mrs. Ball Breaker, right, Gary? Uh -huh. She later went on to be a movie star, didn't she, Big Gary? Uh oh, here we go. Madrigal. That's a short print for sure. Oh, Aaron Judge with the pinstripe. Gleber. Bryce Harper. Save some for the rest of us. Mike Trout. Yeah, she was in Porky's, wasn't she, Carrie? Nope. Huh? Nope. She wasn't? No, I think she said she wasn't in Porky's. Oh, no, no, in Pork. And oh, Porky's the movie, remember? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Miss Ballbreaker. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Gary, you are a trip, man. I gotta adjust my hearing. Yeah, yeah. Turn that hearing aid up. It's about to be on tonight. Oh, Michael Thornton, you want a thousand for your one of your you get five choices for your charity. Right, big Gary. That's right. All you have to hit is one of the big three. Omar just text. He left his slippers over at his neighbor's house and wants Sleeve to go pick them up. <laughs> oh, shit. George Brett. This is it. We've hit some nicies. Come on now. No. The search goes on. Sherry's favorite baseball team. Sherry don't have a favorite baseball team. She has a favorite football team. Right, Sherry? Mm -hmm. This was Michael Thornton. Her favorite team's got anything to do with Grand Slam, right, Sherry? Yep. <laughs> she likes the Grand Slam softball squad. You get you get all your packs and stuff shipped to you. Plus your bonus pack from Tops. They're going to deliver them to us. They're going to ship them tomorrow or Thursday. We're going to wait. Once we get the packs, we'll send you your cards with your pack. Feel like it's like 2017 all over again. 
Cruz. Oh, Nate Pearson. Is it in the first pack every time or what? Darvish. I'm looking for a one on one. I got a thousand dollar charity bet with another breaker, I think. We'll have to check Instagram on that, but I think so. He probably already pulled like three of them, but you never know with us, right, Gary? That's right. Matthew Boyd. Oh, Vlad. Freddie Freeman. Gosh, I wish that was autographed. One on one, Mike Trout. I win. Right, Gary? Right. Is it true that your coworkers will ask you about what time Gary gets off and stuff so they can go to the post box just so they can run across Gary? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what was her name? What was the lady? Anna. Anna. And yeah, she wears the Mary Janes, the older for the you know how the older ladies wear the Mary Janes? <laughs> She'd be loving some Gary. Isn't that right, Gary? Oh yeah. Here's Top saying, please get off the air. <laughs> <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Gary. Gary got them ladies all tore up. Isn't that right, Sherry? Yeah. Did you know ice cream? Yeah, she brought us ice cream. That was Gary was off that week. She brought me that ice cream. <laughs> 2021. Oh, Mookie Betts. Oh, Johnny Bench. Oh, Johnny Bench, Gary. You like Johnny Bench, don't you? Yeah. Yep. Yep. No, it's a manufacturer. Cody Bellinger, Gold, Schwarber, Ichiro. Here we go. To 76, O.D. Gordon. Look at that. Red, white, and blue, baby. Let's go. God bless America and all of her soldiers. Right, Big Gary? That's right. one-on-one real quick. Is that Acuna? Yep, that is a beautiful card. Golly, what a card. There's Toe Water. He knows what it's like to live with old Nate Dog. Toe Water was on. Eric was on. Who else was on? There was another roommate. Brownstone Apartments for Life. Thurman. Right, Big Gary. Right. We're trying to hit a one on one. DR Nod. That's not what we're looking for, is it, Sherry? Nope. That's my Nicholas Thornton, 89,109. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> There's another. Here we go, Beffer Crossing. Next up, Joe Tuvel. We gotta go 84 on this pack. If he hits a Mattingly or Strawberry, he gets to pick the charity. Thousand Smackers. Moses, there's another Ron Say. There's our second Tony Gwynn of the box. Oof. Griffey and May. Some bullshit. And a Gary. Right. 84 tops are tough, boy. Here we go. You get all your little top packs, middle packs, bottom packs. Right, Gary? Right. Did I ever tell you about the time Gary joined the circus? There was a girl who rode an elephant, right, Gary? Right. She was, Gary saw her. She was kind of hot, right, Gary? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She was Gary's style. Gary loves them circus girls. Isn't that right, Gary? Oh, yeah. Tops has probably blocked this thief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, here we go. Here we go. 
This is Joe Tuvel, 89110. Oh, Biebs. Yeah. Mustaches are fire every year, right, Gary? Right. Gary literally wears the handlebars for Christmas. Gary likes to go to Hoboken, New York, right, Gary? Right, right. Yeah. He goes to Hoboken. There's a girl there that uh, Gary met at Woodstock, right, Gary? Uh -huh. No auto yet, so that's good. Maybe we'll get a good one for a change. JD, number to 70. I'm going to see if I can figure out who that is. I'm going to say King Griffey Jr. 1989, Topps Traded. If I can pick out cards from the reverse, let's just see. Well, 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 what do you know? We ain't got no Johnny come lately in this one, do we, Big Rook? Hell no. Oh, Joey Votto. Oh, Tiny. Make us start the bomb. Here we go. Oh, the auto was. Oh, I missed the auto. Hold on. It was in the first pack. Wish it was Jackie Rob. Oh, Eddie Alvarez. I thought he was in the uh, UFC, right, Gary? My bad. Man, y'all are... Dude, it's in the first pack every time, man. Here we go. Javier Piazza. I think he was in the last round. He was picked as a favorite for Tommy Lasorda. Did you know that, Sherry? Nope. You didn't? Mm -mm. So tell me what happened at work today. Did that girl from Dollar Tree come in asking for Gary's phone number or her pager number? Yeah. Just so y'all know, Gary's the only person who still has a uh, singular cellular. Yes, singular uh, pager. Hi, right, Gary. Right. Yeah. We got a shout out from Tops, man. Nothing but love. That's right. Yeah, we got y'all. We love y'all, Tops. We love y'all too. Oh, Kirby. Aaron Judge, not real. Here we go. Soto, K-Line, Araldis. 20, 21 tops. Austin Meadows, jank shit, right, Gary? Right. Yeah. I want to open a pack and it's got a Boggs rookie in it, right, Gary? All right. Remember I said that, Nation. Vladdy. He looks like a hipster. Right, Big Gary? All right. Yeah. There's the short print. Nothing we excited about, right, Gary? Right. Big Joe miss you. Tonight would be a good night, right, Big, right, Big Joe, right, Big Gary? That's right. That was Joe Tuvel, 89110. Next up is Nick Mudge. Let's see what we got. We got 246, 246. We're going 83. Nick Mudge can pick the charity of the five we listed. Thousand bucks. We're just having some. And there it is, folks, right on the back of the pack. My man, Nick Mudge, gets to pick. Look at that. Drag him. So we've now hit Gwen and we've now hit Sandberg. Drag him. What if it has uh, Boggs in it, too? That'd be pretty fucking dope. Gaylord. If you ain't seen Meet the Parents, you've missed out. Right, Big Gary? Oh, yeah. Gary? Oh, my goodness. I thought it was Gary Gary. <laughs> Gary Gray. Did you know that guy, Gary? Yeah, I knew him. You know what, Gary? I got you a nice Jim Mint tin of him. You can All have right. it. Yeah, miss you, Gary. Here we go. All right. Nick Mudge gets the pick between the five charities. 1,000. Let's go. Give that to my brother. Respect. 
Gary, can you get that in a top loader for me? Yeah. Oh, it's definitely a cinematic masterpiece. Right, Gary? Uh -huh. All right, y'all got it. We got our $1,000 donation. There we go. Right, Big Gary? That's right. He said Salvation Army? Salvation Army. Okay. No, uh, I was typing him out. Just he oh, he may not even be watching. We can send him the list. Thanks, Gary. Mm -hmm. We've hit Gwen and Sandberg now out of our box. Sherry, who's your favorite football player? Football player? I said Sherry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Turn next. I don't know who's favorite football player. Who's your favorite breaker? You, of course. What What's your favorite card shop? Grand Slam. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. This is Nick Mudge in the house. Thousand bucks. Thousand smackers. All right, y'all ready? I doubt Glenn's watching right now. We're going to do a, a little double bonus. You ready? If Glenn Davis and Sherry are both watching the show, which Sherry's here live and in living color, if Glenn is watching, we'll throw another $250 on top of the thousand. But Glenn Davis has to say, what does he have to say? Let's think of a good one. You ready, Big Rook? Damn straight. Uh, let's think of, why don't we just say, all Glenn has to say is, blowout sucks. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got to say, Big Glenn. That's 250 for St. Jude. Let's go! We can't split it up, Nick. You're trying to make more, try to do something nice, and Nick says, hey, let's make some more work for you. Pick which one you want, Nick. <laughs> it's hilarious, isn't it? <laughs> He's got a good heart. I like it. We a little tied up with about... No, nah, not you, Wayne. It's got to be Glenn. I think Glenn's probably not watching tonight. He ain't wanting to watch no tops break. You know what I'm saying? Glenn is all about that Giannis and Zion. Let's see it. Yep. Tiki Taki. Oh, Reese. They're all saying that. Man, come on now. My buddy, my, my, my buddy is uh, Fish. It's just for. It looks like Glenn is the first time we've ever missed it. You know it. This is the first time that Glenn is not watching. <laughs> Woo! It's okay. I'd say he's probably sitting there drinking a little bottle of Cavassier with his lady friend, right, Big Gary? That's right. Yep, he missed out on this one. He thought we weren't going to come with the St. Jude dollars tonight. Votto, Marte, Gibson. Paxton Lack. wonder where he's at tonight. Facebook jail. Probably real jail, right, Big Gary? Right. <laughs> okay. Roberto Clemente to 299 Let me see if I can get this one. It's going to be tough. This is real tough. I literally don't know this one. Let me look here for a second. Um, it's got to be old school Cincinnati, right? Like Cincinnati or Cubs. Pete Rose. No, Barry Larkin, so close. That was pretty good. I did not, I, I'm disappointed in myself. I should have known that one. Very disappointed. It happens, right, Gary? Right. Glenn never showed up to the party. Y'all all send him personal messages to let him know he cost him kids 250 bucks, right, Gary? <laughs> Man, Barry Larkin and missed it. Bob Gibson. We have not hit a biggie shorty yet. We need that one on one life, right, Big Gary? Right. 
299. Oh, Scott Rowland, Phillies. That's a cool card. Brooks Robinson, die cut. I'm going to keep this live. We did our $1,000 donation. Did he tell you where? Filming. All right, we're going to send it right now. Give me about 30, about 60 seconds. I'm going to stay live. I'm going to put this on mute. And we're back. Here we go. You pretty good dude too, James Cooper. Are you W uh, DB Cooper's cousin? John Lamb, Mary's Lamb, my man John Lamb. Got us. He actually sent us the the knives. You pretty okay too, James? Thank you, John. Gary. What did you think about all those ladies hitting you up for your birthday last night? Oh, man. I couldn't even get through them all. That's right. They were sending messages to the store like they had in damn heat. <laughs> Who does? Hey, it is what it is, man. Just send it. This is John Lamb. Like... Five boxes down, 25 to go, guys. Right, Big Gary? That's right. Joe, where you at, buddy? I could use you tonight, bud. There we go. Isn't that right, Big Gary? Oh, yeah. He'd have fun doing this. Yes, he would. Miss you, Joe. History. Isn't that crazy? The history of the all-star rookie. After I was asking about that. Right, Gary? Right. <clears throat> Soto. Was it true, Gary, that you were in a Bruce Lee film? Yeah. You were his stand uh, stunt double, right? Right, that's right. To 199 and to 50, Rosario, Barry Larkin, Big Hank Aaron. Thank you, buddy. How much did we donate? A thousand? Thousand total. They charged me a fifty-two dollars. Yeah, total fees fifty-two dollars thirty cents. It's fucked up. I think you might have done the wrong one. What what is this fee? Tim Foundation. Really? They've never done that to us before. You went to a GoFundMe page? I don't know what that was from. I went to the actual site. And okay. All that. It is what it is. Well, we donated more than a thousand. It's okay, right, Big Root? Okay. We'll show y'all in a second. Give me a second. I'm going to guess 1954 or something. Bam, I hit it. Ted Williams. 
Holla! <laughs> I literally picked a year. Like Gary picks him when he goes into the bar, right, Gary? Right. Yeah. What Gary does is he lets little fellas, he goes in and watches the bar, and he lets the little little fellas buy all the drinks and shit for the ladies, right, Gary? That's right. And uh, once they run out of their uh, mama's uh, um, allowance, Gary rolls in. Isn't that right, Gary? That's right. The ladies are already tipsy. He sends little, little Tommy boy back to the house empty-handed, right, Gary? That's right. What's your favorite drink at the bar, Gary? Is it Long Island tea? Long Island tea, yep. Because it's got a little shot of everything, right, Gary? Right, give it every time. <laughs> Straight up, right, Gary? Straight up. Is it true, Gary, that you also won a martini contest back in 89? I did, yes. The first human to drink a giant martini with $100, right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> They double dog dare you, right, Gary? What they doing? Hey, you know. <laughs> Once you double dog Gary, double dog dare dare Gary, it's on, right, Gary? That's right. If you give him the triple dog dare, shh, you better stand back. Did y'all know at the Christmas story house you can spend the night now? Oh really? Yeah, that's what I want for my birthday, Sherry. Uh, no one said no one yeah, I want to stay the night at the Christmas story house at Christmas time. Okay. It would be badass, scary rookie. Uh oh, Edgar. Azuna to four ninety nine. Edgar, not numbered, but pretty cool. I wonder if the lamp is the official lamp. It's there, yeah. All that's there. It's uh, it's really cool. Google that stuff. Y'all don't be stealing it on Christmas Eve. Sherry's about to go buy that for me, right, Sherry? Yep. I bet that thing booked up on Christmas Eve until the year three thousand. You're so negative, rookie. <laughs> don't be negative. He just doesn't know about the power. Yeah, you don't know Sherry's powers. Mm -hmm. Sherry can get me in that house. Yeah. Here we go. That was John Lamb. It feels like I opened that pack 20 minutes ago. <laughs> we might be here. We might be finishing this tomorrow, right, Gary? Right, we might. We'll do what we can. What time is it, Sherry? Daily after nine. Oh, is that all? Mm -hmm. I've only been rocking an hour. Wow, should have got me a Keurig. Where's the honey buns at? Gary's Foot Locker, right, Gary? That's right. Anthony Crockett. This one's going up. That one's on top, yeah. This is Anthony Crockett, 89118. Thanks, Sherry. Mm -hmm. What up? How's married life, Austin? I would not know. <laughs> well, uh, kind of. What? Don't give her any ideas. Don't give Stormy any ideas that you want to marry her like you asked me earlier today? No, let's not put that out there. Oh, yeah, I can't wait for Stormy yeah, to ask me to marry her. Uh, I'm not going to say anything. You're right, Austin. And Stormy, he wants you to marry him. He wants you to ask him, though. Right, right Austin? I mean, he's somewhat <laughs> nope. <clears throat> yeah, you can't have too many females around Gary. Sherry's been inoculated. <laughs> right, Gary? That's right. Sherry's the only person who's been inoculated against Gary's powers. <clears throat> to 70. Glenn, Glenn knows the deal, right? Right, Big Gary? Right, he does. Should we offer a, a bigger number, maybe, and see if Glenn was just sitting back waiting for me to offer a bigger number just to mess with him? You ready for this? I skipped the auto. Damn it to hell. Hold on. It's twice I've done that. Did I skip it? All I see is a bunch of damn tops cards. 
probably in the first pack. Let's just see. I'm gonna kick you off eight mile. Let's see what this one is. 1985 Doc Gooden. Bam! Who's your daddy? Let's go. Just did again. It's not Aaron Judge. It's not a real lotto. Mike Trout we hit. It was, well, we'll go back. We'll see. Ain't no biggie. Ain't no shorty. It's normally in the first pack, so they're right about that. So it could have been. We'll find it. Right, Gary? That's right. To be right. Mount Castle. Glabber. That's a cool card. Ripken. It'd be so cool if we hit one of the platinum cards or whatever. Isn't that right, Gary? Yeah, it would be. And there's the autograph. Jose Abreu. There's Franklin. And oh, Don. It's a gold Correa. Jackie Robinson. That's a cool card. My big Gary. That's right. That was Anthony Crockett. Good luck. Remember, you get your free pack of the goodies. These will probably ship on Friday or Monday due to Top sending us your pack, too. My big Gary. Let's see this is Thomas Miner. I'm going to open up an 84 pack just because I can. My big Gary. Right. We trying to hit Daryl Strawberry or Mattingly? Where's that Pat Tillman thing at? I don't think I showed it to him. Tillman Papers? Yeah. Omar Moreno. And it is from the Tillman side. I don't know, like, if they switched shit. to it or what. That's some bullshit. Yeah, that's some pack bullshit. of turds. Yeah, we're going to fucking... I'm getting up in Pat... I'm going to get up in Pat Tillman Foundation's ass. Trying to we gave a 1000 but had to pay a 1052 like Medina a... Medina actually covered the fee. He said to invoice in the fee, so I did. Ain't that some bullshit, Big Rook? Yeah. We've donated like 30,000 of them. They're going to start hitting us with 5% fees. Golly, son. That's, Pat Timmel would not like not top, Pat Timmel would not like that bullshit, would he, Gary? No, he would not. He'd say, that's some bullshit. Yeah, we hit Ryan Sandberg. Of course we did. Beezy, Beezy Weezy, Japanesey, right, Big Gary? That's right. Yeah. Is it true that you went thrifting this weekend with a girl that liked Gary? Yeah, I did. No, Sherry. Oh. Isn't it true? Yep. Bertha? Yep, Bertha. Gary, you don't mind more pushing for the cushion, right, Gary? That's right. Well, Bertha's got a little little extra cushion, but she got some love for you, Gary. She's watched every show that you've been on. 89119. Are you interested, Gary, or not? She says she wants to give you her ju jumbo pack. All right. <laughs> Let's go, Big Bertha. Give him a call tomorrow. 615-69-6969-6. Right, Gary? <laughs> Eric Coe must be added. Right, Big Gary? Right. If you want to page him, it's going to be 7969-94. Right, Gary? Right. Singular cellular. <laughs> Their last hope is Gary. This is Thomas Miner, Michigan. Man, this is a cool short print. Pete Alonzo got to meet uh, Joe last year. Griffey. There we go. 
Big Bertha in the house. Oh, I'm chilling. I'm just on cruise control. Got to show them boys how I did it back in 2016. Right, Big Gary? Right. Thomas Miner. Uh-oh. Shogo. Him and Gary party, too, didn't you, Gary? Oh, yeah. What? Let me ask you this, Gary. Is it true that on your T-ball team, you mounted the the, the team mom? The team mom, yeah. That brought the Capri Suns and stuff. Uh-huh. Gary said, ain't nothing like the smell of free toes and Capri Suns. Right, Gary? That's right. There's, I mean, y'all are lucky there's no bourbon around me right now because I'd take a shot for that, Gary. That's a, nah, not tonight. We'll do that to, uh-oh, come on, be like a one-on-one. I need a one-on-one -on -one out of this mug. Oh, Vladimir, if you live in the Murfreesboro area and you haven't eaten Jet's Pizza, you're probably missing out, right, Big Rook? Damn straight. Here we go. Yeah, tomorrow we'll bust some fantasy, I think. Right now, we're just trying to have some fun. Right, Gary? That's right. Fun. Yeah. Hell yeah. Gary, is it true that Saturday you have a gender reveal from one of your girlfriends? Uh-huh. Gary's going for the Guinness Book of World Records. Right, Gary? That's right. Just so y'all know, if y'all don't know this, Gary's 84. Right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Gary is 84, but feels no, what do you feel, about 28, 29? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Young boy. So Gary's about to find out whether he's having twin boys or twin girls or one of each. Right, Gary? That's right. What are you hoping for, Gary? Uh, boys. Hell yeah. Like father, like son. Right, big Gary? Right. Hate to burst your bubble, Gary, but when the doctor told you the first ultrasound that it looked like your the baby had four legs or three legs, it's probably gonna be boys, right, big Gary? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Congrats, bro. Thanks. Hoping you're gonna name one Nate That's right. and the other one Rookie. That's right. <laughs> wow, I'm pretty offended. Tukey. It's okay. Hey, man, go get us some cheese sticks. Don't forget the marinara. Yeah. Did you did you get Gary's girlfriend a present for the shower? No. Why? I told you. We didn't know what it was supposed to be yet. I told you just a bag, box of condoms. <laughs> right, Gary? That's right. Yeah. Oh, Sonny. You know what he can do. Oh, yeah. Jet's Pizza is the shiz. Can you go ahead and order me that, Sherry? Yeah. A four corner. It's probably gonna be cold. We probably, what time is it on? Local time? 19. Yeah, you probably go ahead and order it. I'll be done at some point. We'll warm it up. If, if anybody else wants something to eat from Jet's, tell Sherry, she'll get it ordered. She's our office manager, right? Right, Gary? That's right. There you go. That was Thomas Miner. Okay, there's a four, two four corners. What, what, do you want pepperoni or what? Yeah, just pepperoni. Okay, there's two. What do you want, Gary? Um, Get you a pizza, Gary. Live once. Okay, let's see. Pizza, four corners. Um, pepperoni or what do you want on it? I'm thinking hamburger. Hamburger? Yeah. You got the hamburger back here. All right, yeah. Austin, what do you want? I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Don't me want you to have your extra, your energy for tonight, buddy. <laughs> well, Make that pizza, Austin. You better get you a cheeseburger pizza. <laughs> the hamburger back here, right, Big Gary? Right. Is that what yeah. you eat before you Yeah, Gary. Damn. Gary rolls up in the Prius after he eats his four corner pizza. Right. Sherry, what you want to eat, girl? Well, take a look at that menu. <laughs> Best ranch dressing. We don't eat salads, do we, Big Ot Gary? Nope. Gary said salads are for pussies. <laughs> Tops is like, get him off the air. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> who, who invited this guy? 
Somebody's gonna lose their job tomorrow. Austin, you sure you don't want anything? Yes, I'm sure. He said, are you gonna be at the shop tomorrow? Man, I'm about to sleep till Friday, right, Big Gary? That's right. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Woo! Man, we got a bunch of boxes to open. It's cool. We're having fun, aren't we, Gary? Yeah, we are. Vladdy! This right here is Dwayne Mayberry. This is Dwayne Mayberry. Mookie. Eloy. Soto. I've been canceled as a as a tops uh, direct order. Bryce Harper. It's cool. This is order eighty nine thousand one two one. Joey Bart Ripken. Mike Trout to two ninety nine. Drag him. Platinum mine. Platinum player. I'm sure y'all remember platinum mine, right, Big Gary? Wow. Alex Gordon rookie. Or Alex Gordon Auto, sorry. We ain't pulled a good uh, biggie. Here we go. We're not here to partake, right, Gary? Oh, right. We're here to take over. <laughs> Gary loves this. Gary, let me ask you this. Gary, did you have a good birthday yesterday? Hmm? Did uh, Madison, Gertie, and Beth give you a good birthday? Oh, yeah, they did, yeah. Ooh. You can thank those. You can thank the uh, special treats on Austin. He had uh, ordered those online for him, right, Big Gary? <laughs> That's right. That's great. Austin, he appreciates that. Here you go, Austin. Here's your garbage can to dump out for my buddy, old Tommy Brady. Next up, Brandon Friedman. Thanks, buddy. All your cards ship. This right here is Brandon, Bennington, Nebraska. I love Nebraska, don't you, Gary? Oh, yeah. Gary used to sell corn cob ends back in the day. You know those corn cob ears mm -hmm. that look like corn cobs, and you stick it in, and then you, no, 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 no. Right, Gary? That's right. Is it true that you won the corn cob eating contest? I did. The AD Pies of uh, Kappa, Kappa Delta Sigma at uh -huh. Florida State? Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Gary loves corn, don't you, Gary? Oh, yeah. This is 89122. <clears throat> looks like it should be numbered or something. Run, Ricky, run. Oh, all of a sudden we got all these Tampa Bay Buccaneer fans all of a sudden. I hadn't seen them on the show in the last four years. Have you, Gary? No, I hadn't. <laughs> now they're just all front and center. Oh, Albert, everybody give Albert Rehos a pat on the back. He's a Buccaneers fan, right, Big Gary? That's right. Woohoo. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations, buddy. I'm sure you've been waiting your whole life for this. My whole life. He probably got Patriot jerseys hanging up, <clears throat> Buccaneers, Yankees. <laughs> <laughs> Austin likes uh, John Cena, the Yankees. You don't like John Cena? No, how do you not? Oh, that's pretty easy. <laughs> to be honest with you, right, Big Rook? Damn Just straight. look at me and look at my soul. I'll tell you how not to like John Cena. Yeah, he blew it with Bella. Right, Big Rookie? Damn straight, what a chump. Now you had to marry some second rates. That's cool, man. Sometimes you only get one shot at the big show, right, Sherry? Yep. 
No, I didn't see there was a guy from Camden. That's pretty cool. Too bad, because hunting. I wish the Darius Hutcherson would have went to Kentucky. Hey, they, we tried to get him involved. I've never. My dad and I were sending stuff about the Darius Hutcherson to, and then the dude left, the defensive coordinator. But now we got the offensive line coach from South Carolina. So there's a kid from Huntington that played for South Carolina on the offensive line, and we got their coach. Red, white, and blue. I think that's always been my dream for a Mustang to play for the Wildcats. Yeah. Give him some $100 bills, yo. <laughs> Andrew Williams was pretty close. He was miling. I was there on his official visit, man. It was Tennessee game. Oh, yeah. Sure was. It sure was. He was with his grandmother. Isn't that crazy that I know that? Let's go right there. Yeah. Sounds like it's pizza. You're going to go pick them up? Yeah, they, they didn't deliver this late. Sherry, you are just winning. Yeah. You don't ever stop winning. Thank okay, you. girl, you be safe, okay? Don't. Chips ain't about that money, apparently. No, they suck, bro. They apparently. Stop delivering at they, they food is legit, though. That four quarter pizza, man. It's like your first night with a lady. Just wait, Austin. You'll love it. I love how you <laughs> yelled. Like, Get him! Do you got him? I got oh, Austin's ass. It, I Finally. <laughs> Yeah, Jets Pizza. It was hilarious. You were like, when I thought you couldn't add no more value, you I showed me Jets. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just, I mean, literally, one day, rookie orders Jets. And he's like, hey, man, you want to try it? I could smell it. I could smell the crispiness in the air. And I was like, damn, this shit smells good. And I was like, no, I'm cool. Andrew Alexander. I went home that day or the next day and ordered my own pizza. Man, I, I text Ricky. I said, just when I thought you couldn't be any more valuable to our establishment, you go and introduce Jet's Pizza to me. Son, your father will be proud. Isn't that what I said, Rookie? Yeah. It's a blessing. Jet's Pizza is like Pizza Hut 1984. Wow, good the next day. Yeah, dude. Jet's Pizza in the Middle Tennessee area. Scoop it up. Y'all know how we feel about Jet's, right, Big Gary? That's right. Stay jet flying. I don't know if it's as good as Lucas. Shit, it is. Wow. It's better than Lucas, bro. That crunchy. I love. I love it. Hell, if I didn't have a, if I just had a Gallagher machine to go with it. Oh wait. Right, Big Rook. Might as well be Pizza Hut 1984 in here. Sherry ordered me the thin crust last time, so you got to make sure she gets that. Thick crust. She's listening to the show right now in the car, I promise you. I tell y'all what, you ready for this, Rookie? She just left to get our pizza. If Sherry is listening, right, if she posts, I'm, I'm going to get y'all's pizza, that's another 250 for St. Jude Hospital, right, Big Gary? That's right. Since Glenn didn't show up tonight, Glenn probably in his smoking jacket. We're going to see if Sherry's still watching. Probably not, but you never know. She might love us that much, right, Big Gary? This right here is for Andrew Alexander. Lance Teslov. Y'all bring me any good pizza. We good with that, right, Big Gary? Right. We love pizza. We should do our own pizza reviews, right, Gary? Right. Uh-oh, looks like Sherry may not be on. Sorry about your luck, St. Jude, not tonight. <laughs> yep. Tiki Taki. Yeah, we done got her. She was taking a break. She probably had needed some leave from all the carrying on. <laughs> right, Big Gary? Ah, oh, there she go. Ah, oh, you got to say I'm picking up your pizza. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Sherry about to get another 250 for St. Jude. That's dedicated right there, isn't it, Gary? That is. There it is, literally. I'm on. That's not what we said. Got to say, getting our pizza. Jet's pizza. Picking up your pizza. Two fifty for St. Jude. Congratulations, St. Jude. Sherry's got your back. Scherzer. <clears throat> we have 
not hit a big car, man. We didn't miss an Aaron Judge Auto, guys. Oh, Sean Doolittle. Hell yeah. Who's your friend that plays for Pittsburgh? What's his name? Please, that guy. Oh, goodness. James Lee F. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. We're about halfway home, guys. Deontay Johnson is his friend. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. That's our rookie's second place team. <laughs> ah! Yeah, got jokes about Tennessee. <laughs> he got it from me, son, his big brother. He's throwing out. Y'all throw out them zingers like you ain't shit. Well, I mean, ain't nothing wrong with second place. Ask Brian. He'd love to be second. No, second. Hey, Brian, if you're watching the show, man, here's my, hey, man, bring some polish in tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I hope you don't have your 22 available because that's, that's exactly the points he lost by, right, big rookie? True story. Closest I've ever seen. Wait till next year. I'm going to break his heart even worse next year. I might have Sherry finish him off and <laughs> beat him in the semifinals, right, Big Gary? Right. Yeah. That was our plan all along. Just didn't quite work out exactly the way we wanted it, but the results were the same. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Debbie Garcia Gold, Rizzo, Frank. We need that platinum card. Hey, Funky Cole Medina wants you to give him a donkey call for paying the 52 bucks, Rook. Hee haw! Hee haw! Yeah. That's bad ass shit, Funky Cole. Chiefs win Super Bowl 51. What? Hadn't 51 already happened, bro? I think that was a few years ago. I thought it was 55. What year was this one? 55. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, man. 51 was that kind of... Yeah. I got a feeling, for some reason, a female around Tyree Kill probably got popped today. That's just my opinion. He, I could see it in his eyes. He was trying to hit somebody. There wasn't a coach around this time. Right, Big Gary? Cool. Scherzer, Clement. Uh-oh, that's a, that's a cool card. I really do like tops. Oh, Brady Singer. Fernando Tatis. I mean, until Tom Brady, till Daddy retires, Patty Mahomes can't be saying shit. Him and his girlfriend need to be quiet. Right, Big Gary? Right. Yeah, Daddy's home. <laughs> that was James Lee F. Here we go, Gary. Got you two orders. Oh, Gary going to be here late tonight, boys and girls. Barry Wolfenbarger. After this one, we are definitely halfway home. We might be a little more than halfway home. What? Oh. That's pretty cool. 
This is 89,132. People are just meanies, right, Gary? Right. Mm. He's my home said I could suck it. Why he's been he was sucking it pretty hard last night, right, big Gary? Yeah. Sunday night when Tommy two nights ago when Tommy made him his daddy. Does Tom know he's out talking shit right now? <laughs> Judge Gold. Man, Are they still out back, Gary? Um, Austin, or, uh, the ladies! <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Gary, you fall for it every time, buddy. I do. I do. <laughs> ah, let's go. Look at that. Not autographed. Gary falls for it every time. Is it true that you played for the Hickory basketball team, Gary? Yeah, the Hickory, yeah. In Indiana? Uh-huh. They called you Ollie, right? Ollie, yeah. You used to hit them charity stripe shots underhanded, right? Right, that's right. Yeah. I knew it all the way. Your favorite player was Jimmy Chitwood, though, right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. Here we go. Dang. Oh, Beebs. Beebs go to 50. Yeah, Gary believes in the granny shot, right, Gary? Right. Because he's a, Gary believes in them gilts. Right, Gary? Right. Yeah. Gary loves them granny shots. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Gary, have you ever had Jet's Pizza? Yeah, I have, yeah. I was about to say, that is so good. Yeah, I know it is. Hey, will you grab me some orders, Gary? Yeah, I will. Thanks, buddy. Good old buddy, old pal. Here we go! That was Barry Wolfenbarger. I'm about to open up a couple more boxes. So just gave me those two. Next order. Who blow me up? Top. Please, please delete your video. <laughs> please delete your video. We are no longer allowing you. We're no longer allowing you to open Topps products any longer. <laughs> and that makes me sad. Here we go. All right, Gary. Right. Eric Jansen. Let's go, Eric. Yo time to shine, Eric. Yo time to shine. Herndon, Virginia. You get your packs and everything sent with your stuff on top of your free pack from Topps. Everybody who bought from us tonight gets one. That's super cool. Yeah, I know. I bet that pack's like a hundred bucks. Ichiro. We got a ways to go, but we chilling. There's old Joey Votto. What's that? Is he? Like a professional, huh? Get them, Austin. Sounds like a new raise. Shit, you're. Oh, I was. Bend over or we'll get you he one. went from getting all these raises and cars. They were trying to sh send you down the river, weren't they, Austin? At one time. Oh boy, they fucking tried. <laughs> Austin boy. He said I asked for a raise. He got a raise last week. <laughs> About two weeks ago. He been getting raises this whole time. You hear him. 
some some you just can't please, right, Rook? Right. You, can't, you can't erase here more often than six months. I think, see, Austin's had one job his whole life is working here. I think we should send his ass to Kroger for like six months and make him work there. Yeah. He, he'd come Ooh. back crying. 19 of 50, Joey. Drag him. Yeah, we should make him go work in construction. You like that big Gary? Yeah, I do too, Gary. Austin's dad told him if you if you quit this job, I'll kill you. Yeah. He's smart your dad. smart dad. Yeah. You have no idea. That was three years ago too. Mookie! Short print. Always listen to your dad, bro. Yeah. Unless your dad howls at the moon, right, Gary? That's right. Gary had a stepdad one time that howled at the moon, right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Gary put a silver stake right through his heart. Isn't that right, Big Gary? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should make him be a server at Waffle House, Big Rook. <laughs> y'all pick some jobs that y'all want us to pay Austin to go do. We'll pick one. Maybe even for a day. Right, Rookie? Yeah, let, let him be a roofer and haul up 90-pound shingle bags. Yeah. Fire. Maybe a gopher at a construction site where he's picking up all the marble fucking slabs for the bathroom. Laying some sod in the fucking hot heat. Right, Big Gary. That was Eric Jansen, 89-133. Next up, Daniel F. Orange, California. Janitor at a at a nursing home, right, Gary? Yeah. <clears throat> hey, Austin, how would you like being a porta potty cleaner? I don't think they need clean. Oh, they do, I can assure you. Right, Big Gary? Well, they do. Clean up, man. Yeah, load and mulch at Lowe's. You can run it. Gary works that job, guys, because MILFs come in. Right, Gary? Right. Lonely MILFs. Gary loves working the garden section of Lowe's. Right, Gary? Right. A lot of lonely MILFs come through there. Here we go. This is Daniel F. 89,135. Guess that card from behind. Daryl Strawberry, 1984 tops. Get me some, son. Let's go! Woo! Let's go, baby! Daryl Strawberry. No skyscraper window cleaner. We ain't trying to kill him. Oh God, that's terrifying. Are you? Dude. I don't like heights either. Eat your row. The human pooper scoopers. Yeah, I've seen them on TV. They'll pick up your duty for nine ninety five a week. Gary doesn't even have a dog and hired him, right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Gary just goes out in his backyard and drops deuces because it was a hot chick that worked there, right, Gary? That's right. <laughs> Gary said, in love, and, in love, there's no rules, right, Gary? That's right. Yeah. Ryan Howard Auto, the 50. Gary's got him a second job right now at a nursing home, right, Gary? Uh-huh. Yeah. Gary believes that women that don't move fast are better targets, right, Gary? Like in hunting. Go. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Gary prefers some teeth out, right, Gary? Right. So that's his spot. So in Murfreesboro, if your granny's at a... At a <laughs> In a standstill, you might want to go ahead and roll her out of there, right, Big Gary? Right. Gary's coming. You've been warned. Right, Big Gary? All right. Dang, I've never even seen one of these. To 99. Victor Robles.
Heck yeah, man. Verlander. It's not an auto, guys. I'm not going to steal your showy Otani autos. That was Daniel F. 89-135. Next up, Charles Meyer. Charles Meyer. Gary, is it true that you tried out for David Banner on the Incredible Hulk on TV? Yeah, I did. The original TV show. Right. Came up just a little short, guys. This is Charles89160. Profar Bart. Mookie. Uh-oh. Cavan. Brady. Juan Soto. Another. Here we go. Number to 70. Wade. Eighty nine one six zero. Big Joe must not be watching tonight, man. Had a shout out for Big Joe three or four times. Really busy. Big Vlad. Gold. Garrett Cole to four ninety nine. That's a cool looking card. Ripken, that's our second Ripken. Mike Trout Auto coming up. Nope, Tyler Glass, no. Just a little bit off, right, Gary? Right. Judge, fuck it. what it is. Charles Meyer, 89160. Right, Big Gary? That's right. Next up, Christopher Minton. My oh, man. I don't know who won the platinum box cutter. We weren't invited to that one. Right, Big Gary? Right. We're the uncouth cousin. Here we go. 89162. So we owe another 250 to St. Jude right now. We paid the 1000 right, Rook? Yes, sir. All right. Make a note of that, okay? What? Yeah. Sherry came through for St. Jude. Alan, no. Everything else is pre-sale. Like, if you bought a box today, those are all ship unopened, buddy. If you're... If you ordered a jumbo box for tonight, it's sitting over there. I'm still working on them, but... I don't know what you're talking about. I don't see anybody with two. They're all ones. Chipper. I like that card too. This right here is 89,162. You get two packs in every jumbo, and it could have autographs and things. We ship them to you directly. Yeah, we've hit autos. There, there'll be like a 86 tops retro. Evan White. Uh, Allen says he bought two boxes. I don't know. It should be over there then, Big Allen. We're working on it right now. There's only, I don't know, nine or ten left. So I'm assuming if you bought two for the rip party, they're sitting over there. This right here is 89,162. Maybe check your order number. Pete Alonzo Gold. 
All right, I want to do something special for y'all. Alan, you're over there then. We got our pizzas. We're about to have a pizza party, guys. Hey, Rook, I want you to throw a special on right now. I want you to put 24 boxes of tops on. Guys, these may not be shipped until Thursday. We can only ship so much. We're going to put 24 boxes of top series one on for $99 a box. And, yep, hobby, and then 12 jumbos at $199. That's for the people watching right now. $199 on the jumbos. Yep, 12, two cases of each. Okay, all right, I'll see you in a little bit. Mike Trout. We got Christopher Minton. Yep. Thanks for the pizza. Joey Bart short print. Euler. Ooh. Jeets. No problem, Alan. You should be over there somewhere, I'm hoping. We're just having fun right now. What time is it, Gary? It is 9.52. 9.52. We're in great shape. Well, I wouldn't say great shape, but pretty good shape. Right, Gary? Right. Through the years. Yeah. Man, this is a bunch of cards you get, right, Gary? That's right. Good it's good. crazy. Next up, local delivery, Jimmy K. Are we delivering our, these boxes? Y'all crazy, man. We shouldn't have had that option. Oh, well, we'll take care of Jimmy K. He's a good guy. Right, Big Gary? Right. We do do local deliveries, guys. Gary, can you go over there and see if there's an Allen W over there that's got two boxes ordered? I don't see two boxes ordered, man. 89286 is what he's saying, so it should be one of the last ones, Gary. 286, here's 286. How many boxes is it? Oh, there should be two boxes, and there's only one in there. Ooh. Bump, 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 bump. All right, great. <laughs> Another box. I got my count up. There's Jimmy K. Two, four, five, seven. We still got a ways to go, boys. We just chilling. I got to get some. Get some pizza in my gullet, right, Big Gary? That's right. You want me to go get it from what I took out Another here. box? Yeah. yeah, I don't care where you get it from. Yeah. Just, I guess oh, I need to oh, check these. Okay. okay. Do you want a mimic on the ones I'm putting on now, like one per person or anything? Yes, one per person. Anybody who orders two or ten or whatever is getting kicked out of here. Right, Gary? That's right. Look, Don Mattingly, 84 tops. Come get you some. Ba bam Soto. We can pick them out a mile away, can't we, Gary? Just give us a minute. We're about to have our little pizza party, celebrate Dragon Nuts, but we've got to get these boxes open, so we're going to knock a little bit of both out. Right, Big Gary? Right. Big Hank Aaron. This is Jimmy K, 89,165. Make the pizzas, son. If you ain't making them Jets pizzas, you probably a chump. Right, Big Gary? That's right. Derek Jeter short print. That is unbelievable card. Wow. What a card. Edward. Jacob DeGrom. I want you to time this next box. I want to see how long it takes me to open a box. Okay, Austin. I'll tell you when. We've hit this car like three times. Ernie, Ernie. Mike. Oh, yeah. Nope, Stacy. Boo. Right, Big Aaron. Uh oh, one of. No. Just a bunch of bougie. It's a 299 to 50. Evan White. 
bougie. Right, Garen? Right. Bougie. Here we go. Jimmy K. Next up, Mr. Rohit, Illinois. Here we go. The packs that last. All right, Austin, you got your phone? Yep. All right, start it now. 89186. 89186, Willowbrook, Illinois. Singer. That's the 70. There are a lot of cards in these boxes, right, Big Gary? They sure are. Oh, Max Scherzer. Trout. Through the years, not a real auto. Crazy. Let's go. Old school. Tony Kemp. 89186, like I said. Javier. Hank Aaron. Jackie Robinson. Oh, Jim Abbott, one-handed. Pretty cool. To 199. Kershaw. Did you already load the hobby and all that, Austin Rook? Yeah, I'm getting it on uh, duplicated, so it's at the top now. Okay, he's working on it, fellas. Y'all are animals. I guess it is cheaper than anywhere in the country, but hey. Okay. Right, Big Gary? That's right. That's why we're the best. They love them price slashes. Senzel. One per person. One per person. All right, Austin, how long? That's how I run, son. I run like a beast. Right, Big Gary? Okay, guys. We're going to take a break and eat our pizza because we can. Right, Big Gary? Right, we can. We're going to eat our pizza while it's piping hot. That's piping the way hot. Gary likes it. Isn't that right, Rook? That's right. Give us about, I'd say, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. We'll be back. We're going to bring it home. We're going to have some. Be careful. There might be some deals coming back, so don't go to sleep. Don't be like Glenn. Holla at your boys. Grab your box. You know, like.